once there was a man who had four wives. The man had become ill and was about to die. At the end of his life, he felt very lonely and so asked the first wife to accompany him to the other world. My dear wife, he said, I loved you day and night, I took care of you throughout my whole life. Now I am about to die, will you please go with me wherever I go after my death? He expected her to answer yes. But she answered, my dear husband, I know you always loved me. And you are going to die. Now it is time to separate from you. Goodbye, my dear. He called his second wife to his sickbed and begged her to follow him in death. He said, my dear second wife, you know how I loved you. Sometimes I was afraid you might leave me, but I held on to you strongly. My dear, please come with me. The second wife expressed herself rather coldly. Dear husband, your first wife refused to accompany you after your death. How can I follow you? You love me only for your own selfish sake. Lying in his deathbed, he called his third wife and asked her to follow him. The third wife replied, with tears in her eyes, My dear, I pity you and I feel sad for myself. Therefore I shall accompany you to the graveyard. This is my last duty to you. The third wife thus also refused to follow him to death. Three wives had refused to follow him after his death. Now he recalled that there was another wife, his fourth wife, for whom he didn't care very much. He had treated her like a slave and had always shown much displeasure with her. He now thought that if he asked her to follow him to death, she certainly would say no. But his loneliness and fear were so severe that he made the effort to ask her to accompany him to the other world. The fourth wife gladly accepted her husband's request. My dear husband, she said, I will go with you. Whatever happens, I am determined to be with you forever. I cannot be separated from you. This is how Buddha concluded the story. Buddha said, every man and woman has four wives or husbands. What do these wives signify? The first wife or husband. The first wife is our body. We love our body day and night. In the morning, we wash our face, put on clothing and shoes. We give food to our body. We take care of our body, like the first wife in this story. But unfortunately, at the end of our life, the body, the first wife cannot follow us to the next world. The second wife or husband. The second wife stands for our fortune, our material things, money, property, fame, position, and the job that we worked hard to attain. We are attached to these material possessions. We are afraid to lose these material things and wish to possess much more. There is no limit. At the end of our life, these things cannot follow us to death. Whatever fortune we have piled up, we must leave it. We can't hold our fortune after our death, just as the second wife told her husband. You hold me with your ego-centered selfishness. Now it is time to say goodbye. The third wife or husband. Everyone has a third wife or husband. This is the relationship between our parents, sister and brother, all relatives, friends, and society. They will go as far as the graveyard, with tears in their eyes. They are sympathetic and saddened. Thus, we cannot depend on our physical body, our fortune, and our society. We are born alone and we will die alone. No one will accompany us after our death. The fourth wife or husband. Buddha mentioned the fourth wife, who would accompany her husband after his death as our mind, or consciousness. When we deeply observe and recognize that our minds are filled with anger, greed, and dissatisfaction, we are having a good look at our lives. The anger, greed, and dissatisfaction are karma, the law of causation. We cannot be separated from our own karma. As the fourth wife told her dying husband, I will follow you wherever you go. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video please consider subscribing to this channel. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get update of future videos.